coming around, guys. It, uh, everything happened pretty well. Started out with a great sunrise start behind the observatory. Everyone was real happy to get together. We had about 500 people tow the line and uh, just beautiful dynamics at the start. Amazing atmosphere. A lot of excitement. Everyone was just jazzed to see Sam Corber rip off Narrowback Mountain. Yeah. Rolling down Tillman West Trail, those sweet little Imba built jumps. Um, just really set the stage for an amazing race. Sam ripped out there, looked over his shoulder. Jeremiah was like eight people back. He had about a 30 second gap. and. So we were real excited to see Sam come down and blaze Wolf, the second mountain off Wolf Ridge. We thought Sam might be really going for it up in the gap, but boom, here comes Cameron Cogburn. He's a professional road racer for Team Smart Stop, and he's got a two minute gap coming off of Wolf Ridge. Everyone was just like blown away that he could do that, because that means he basically had to like light it up by like three or four minutes to, on the climb to get a two minute gap on those downhillers. So basically Cameron Cogburn just lit the course apart we thought it was going to be a total, another one basically in local Jeremiah Bishop's face after losing to Ben King last year. We were like, oh my god, is Cameron just going to ride away with this on the climbs and just give Jeremiah just no chance to catch up? But uh, that played out. That played out in Jeremiah's favor. Um, Cameron got a three minute lead coming into Station 3. I will not open myself up this way. I lay my face to the soil. No, my teeth all right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will not lay like this. Oh, God. Now that is everything I've seen me uh, He was rolling really hard up Route 250. And Jeremiah started getting busy and took a little over three minutes out of him on the uh, Braley Pond Loop coming in day station four. And then Jeremiah just basically said, It's game time, I'm not messing around. Jeremiah was able to extend it to 15 minutes uh, by the time he got down to the finish. Super amazing effort by him. He's a, he's a total thoroughbred. He can just go so far, so fast. But it was real exciting behind, him, behind Jeremiah to see how the race unfolded. We had uh, Cameron Cogburn, who had that massive gap, get reeled in by Sam Corber as well. So Sam and Cam just drilled up the uh, death climb where uh, Cameron Cogburn was able to put five minutes into Sam Corber which totally unraveled in another way because Cameron Cogburn after six hours of just giving it everything he had totally unraveled going out the ridge to the final massive downhill off Chestnut Ridge and poor Cam went backwards Sam Corbin was able to ride through him and get up into second place and uh, we had uh, Mark Chow, no, shoot, lost, lost my third place finisher, roll through. Fourth place, we had Keck Baker. a million bucks but a step closer so now i'm having scud fries in honor of scott scudamore who passed away last year he's one of our good friends he used to make the fries and was just critical to the institution here at shenandoah 100 and also is our lead volunteer for the outpost of grand bondo so i'm gonna go and ride the death climb a second time for him here i'm not all right it's a great day beautiful day it's definitely the premier bike event in the country for sure and you let jeremiah just pull you through the road a little bit and then you showed him how to ride <laughs> technical stuff when you got into the single track <laughs> um he's pretty darn good i don't think i showed him anything <laughs> but uh, oh, how's your race going man well, i don't know big chicken on the set so kind of a little too much consideration not enough speed I could kill you with my bare hands. 
The uh, Masters race was super exciting. We've had a guy just from two hours away, Roger Massey, who's just dominating the NUE series. Um, finally come back here and have a, a really solid ride after a couple off years. Um, Henry Levin from Richmond gave him a real good, real good run for it. Was able to get on him on the death climb, get a gap, get away from him. But uh, Roger came to that aid station, knew what he had to do, got right through that aid station, got out of there before Henry got out of there, and just hit it on the Chestnut Ridge and was able to get down to the finish real fast. The women's race was amazing. Um, Laura Hamm who took second last year. Was an amazing rider out of Southern Virginia, Blacksburg. She had she had her hands full with an amazing athlete. Uh, Celine Yeager riding for rare disease cycling, super fast lady, really fit. In fact, she is known as the fit chick for a column she writes in Bicycling Magazine. She, Celine just hit it early, got up the road, Laura chased with everything she had, and uh, Celine wasn't too big on the downhills, the uncertainty of not really knowing them, along with a little bit of looseness. It was a real dry year, so the it was a little rocky, loose, and sandy, and uh, definitely gave Laura a chance to, to bring Celine in, but it didn't happen. Celine just soloed away and kept the heat on and got her first victory here at the Shandell, and she was really, really jazzed with that. It was hard. Um, I mean, I knew it was going to be hard, and the, actually, I felt great all day until that final climb when I felt like not so great. That went on a long time. And the, uh, like I was telling him, the sketchy descents just, I, they just do me in. I don't practice them enough, we don't have them, and uh, I get on them and I'm like, oh, the ground is moving and I don't like it, but, you know, whatever. In the single speed race, holy cow, uh, basically Jerry Flug put his gears away after, uh, what was it, the Wilderness 101 and basically pulled out single speed, but, uh, and he's had many victories here, but Gordon Wadsworth, oh my goodness, he's looks like he's pretty much, he's not definitely going to win the NUE series, but it looks like he's got it within the grass. Yeah, he uh, sixth place overall. Gordon's a local Virginia guy, rides for Blue Ridge Cycle, and he's drilled it from the start. Got up the road, put um, basically like the dominator, who is Jerry Flug, put him in the dark spot. And Flug could do nothing but chase all day long. So Flug settled for second. Gordon Wadsworth was six, and uh, really, really exciting out there. Really cool single speed race. Those guys are awesome athletes as well. So plan A? Was was like beast mode beat Jerry Flew, Jerry Flew, um, and that was sort of like go go as hard as I can, as often as I can to, to beat him, um, because I like Jerry, but I wanted to beat him. And Plan B was in the event that that didn't pan out or he caught up to me or whatever, I would just verbally assault him until we start a fight, um, and then he'd probably beat me because he's a cop. <laughs> so you know, uh, but that was Plan B, and Plan C was Rabbit Dicky. It was a good day out there. Me and uh, uh, Watts over here did some like good shredding, did some good bike riding. I annihilated some uh, full suspension dudes uh, down some technical descents, and uh, I'm totally psyched with what I did after breaking my leg in January. Oh, oh yeah, Dick. Ride with your eyes. Yeah. I looked at my watch, it was 12.30, and I went, hmm, an hour and a half. At one point I looked at my watch, it was 2.30, and I go, wow, still got a chunk left to go. All right, third one, set it go in 2014. These are my uh, boating ones, and I wear these with my top siders, usually when I'm riding my fat bike around Ann Arbor. Climbing. Chris Scott likes it. Me, not so much. But you come from the mountains of Long Island. Yeah, mountains of Long Island. When you, <laughs> it's ridiculous.
work You're doing great. Hey man. Dude, you're killing it. Yeah. Dude, you must be feeling alright. Uh, I got a little dehydrated. This, this heat in Virginia. Ooh. I had a great day. I never went to my dark place. I was very happy all day long. Um, just riding around really happy people and getting to talk to a whole bunch of people and then re-meeting them again later on in the day because I have a terrible memory. Sorry, oh, I got a red pony. <laughs> <laughs> 